we're going to talk about Dustin then. So Dustin breaks into the business in Florida. I think he actually broke in Texas, actually, but like had one match in Texas and then full-time in Florida. So memories of a young Dustin. Uh, I don't think you met him in Florida, did you? No, I didn't meet him there. I knew of him, but I didn't meet him there. Actually, I met him in Memphis. He came to Memphis. And good talent. You know, Dustin actually he had he had the look. He was tall. He was about six four, six five. He he had the look. And I think Memphis helped him. Uh well, Florida. I didn't meet him in Florida. I just met him in Memphis. Oh, Dustin was in Memphis. Yeah. Really? I didn't even know. Oh yeah, he was in Memphis. I got a picture of it was a Rock and Roll Express, Dustin, Dundee, me. We're walking out. We're all in this picture. It's kind of a blurry picture. But I was walking out as Texas Dirt with the mask <laughs> on. And I forgot where we were. I think we were in like some town in Kentucky or some. Somebody got a shot and sent it to me. But yeah. But see, these guys get sent to different territories before they allowed a spot in a bigger one because they want them to learn uh, before exposing them to a larger audience. Did he have talent from a young age? I mean, if you've met him, he's only been in the business like a year and a half. Can you, can you sort of just tell that he's oh, yeah. born to do oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, if you don't get the business within six months, I mean, basically – not necessarily the good spots and all that, but actually doing the moves, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it. In WCW, so I think you and he were in WCW together in 1991, and I know Eric Watts got this really really badly uh, as far as being, basically being the son of a wrestling legend and then everyone in the locker room thinks, oh yeah, you only got here because you're the son of so-and-so, which of course, you know, is at least partially true. But did Dustin have a lot of issues as far as navigating like political waters in the sense of uh, people disliking him for the position he was put in? Not like Eric Watts did. Eric Watts, he had some major issues with that because basically he wasn't ready to be in the role that they put him in. Dustin at least spent several years learning the business before he ever ended up going to WCW. And then when Vince put on the put him on the, the gold dust uh, angle, he was ready for that. And he did that in such a way that I didn't think Dustin would do but he bought it and he worked on it and it's kind of a gayish angle and he he did a great job on it he he really did i think they both got fired from wcw I th- where did they do the the match in the the ring going around the city oh that was terrible that was um black top bully uh, demolition smash as well that was in wcw like 94 or something didn't they get fired for that? Uh, someone got fired for it. Didn't they bleed and they were told not to? Yeah, but it's something like that. But so they was on. The, the, were they on a truck? They were on a yeah. They were on a truck on a flatbed truck and they were yeah. fighting on it and they had a helicopter like camera panning and flying around with it or it seemed like that way anyway. And it was now a huge can you production. imagine driving around, say? 275 or whatever it is around Atlanta, 475, whatever it is. And you pass a ring (laughs) with two guys in it having a match. What would you think? And there's a helicopter up there and you said, what the hell is this? I wonder, I'm sure they had like, did they have police escorts? Uh, I can't. It's been so long since I've seen it. I remember that being on the WrestleCrap website, really, you know, years and years ago. It's just one of those oddity matches. It, that must have been a dusty creation, surely. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't think that that was the when I was in. I don't think that was a dusty creation. I really don't. I think it was. 
I don't know. I forgot. I, all these eras run together for me. <laughs> well, let's talk about Goldust briefly. Oh, well, D- Dusty um, uh, did booking in the early 90s as well on and off. I think he traded with Ole and and Ric Flair and stuff like that. But we'll go on to uh, the Goldust character. Now, I believe this is one of Vince Russo's first big projects before he became the head writer like a year or so later. Mm. Do you remember the first time Goldust came out uh, came out, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, uh, entered the arena and just like the vitriol he must have got, or were just people just like baffled and completely silent? Do you remember the reactions he was getting originally? Well, like you said, the people were like, they didn't know what he was, but it didn't take them long to fill it in. Now, let me say one thing about wrestling crowds years and years and years ago, as compared to now, they had no, they had no problem calling him the slur words for homosexual. They had no, and then you would have the, the whole audience at, at one point saying that word, little kids too. So, I mean, if you did that today, people would just, Oh, they, they'd go crazy. You couldn't do that. But, but that was the vibes he got. But by the same token, you could take that same character and make him a good guy, and nobody would say nothing. See what I mean? Yeah. Even though he 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 didn't he didn't have to change his character, but if he helped the good guy, if he helped the baby face, they'd love him then. So, where's all this anti-homosexual stuff? If he's a good guy, you don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's, a, that's a story for another day. Do you remember Razor Ramon refusing to work with him? This was an early 1990s. I don't remember that. I heard that. Now, to me, that's true homophobia. See, if you take homophobia, the word, it's not fear of homosexuals. It's really the fear of being one. So... Uh, I want to ask this one as well. Is Dusty and Dustin, they have a fallout around maybe 94. Dustin leaves, goes to the WWF in 1995, and then does the Gold Dust character. And Gold Dust is about as far removed from Dustin, the, the natural Dustin Rose as you can get. Uh, some t- took the Gold Dust character as like a rib for some reason, others took it as just some great like avant garde theatre almost. But do you remember hearing at the time why Dusty and Dustin fell out? Or did you ever talk to Dustin about it? Yeah, because of the uh, who he married. That's my brother-in-law behind me, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, audio listeners, you were fine. But video listeners, you can see. Okay. I think they fell out because of uh, who Dustin married. And Dusty didn't like it. I don't know why that's for him to say, and he's not with us anymore or for Dustin to say, but I think Dustin would say the same thing that I forgot her name. Now she used to work in Terry the Runnels. makeup department. Terry Runnels. She used to work in the, in the makeup department. And I think WCW and WWF both. Or well, maybe not both, but I do remember meeting her in WWE, which was WWF then. And that's where Dustin met her. So they ended up kind of liking each other and ended up getting married. Mm-hmm. 